The first thing you're going to want to do is set up a Google Cloud instance. I've already gone into this in more detail at the beginning of my Deep Dream video. Once you've done that, you'll want to go to your Quotas tab and then hit Upgrade Account. And you'll want to upgrade to a paid account. And once you refresh the page, you'll get the option to Request an Increase. This should open a Google Compute Engine Quota Change Request form. Fill out the required fields. I just requested one GPU from the West Coast. Fill out the rest of the form. The next thing we'll want to do is add a firewall rule. So go to the Networking tab and click Add Firewall Rule. You want to click Allow from any source. And under Allowed Protocols and Ports, put TCP colon 8888 semicolon space UDP colon 8888. That'll open up this port for us to use with the Jupyter Notebook in the next step. Now wait for the email telling you you've been approved for the GPU quota increase. Then you'll be able to create an instance with the GPU. You'll want it to be in the zone where you requested the GPU. I'm giving this one four CPUs, but that's up to you. Click Customize then GPUs, then change the number of GPUs to 1. You'll notice the price increase is significant. This still comes out to about 80 cents an hour, and remember that you'll have $300 of credit before you start getting billed. That still lasts almost two weeks if you run the machine 24-7. In this demonstration, you'll only be using it for about 40 cents worth of time, and you won't be billed for the GPU when the VM is powered down. Now change the boot disk to Ubuntu 16.04, and I changed the size to 50 gigabytes. You can go higher if you want, it doesn't cost that much. Allow HTTP traffic, then click the Management Disk Networking SSH Keys link. The only thing you'll want to add here is a startup script that will automatically download the required NVIDIA drivers for the graphics card. A copy of this script is available in the description, but if you want the most updated version, here's how you find it. Go to Help. Type GPU script, go to the help page on attaching GPUs to instances, scroll down to the scripts, click Ubuntu, then paste that script in the startup script box, then hit create. Your machine should start booting up in a few seconds, but you'll want to wait at least 15 minutes for the NVIDIA drivers to download and install. I recommend taking this time to go watch the first 15 minutes of Siraj Raval's live lecture about style transfer in TensorFlow. After you've waited 15 minutes, hit the SSH button next to your new machine's name in the VM Instances tab. First thing we'll want to do is type sudo apt-get update. Once that's done, you can go to the official TensorFlow instructions for installing with GPU support. The first and second prerequisite have already been completed. Getting a copy of the CUDNN library requires you to register on NVIDIA's website, but it is free. Register for that. Now click the link in your confirmation email and set your password. Now you should be able to download the CUDNN library. Don't get 6.0, get 5.1 for CUDA 8.0. You'll want to download the tar file. Now, because I want to make this tutorial platform independent, I'm trying to do as much as I can in a browser window. So instead of using SCP to get the file from your local machine to your remote machine, I'm going to use the Jupyter Notebook's upload feature. But first we'll have to get IPython. So sudo apt-get install IPython. We're going to install Jupyter using pip make sure that you're getting pip for python 3 so sudo apt-get install python 3 pip then using pip 3 install the jupyter notebook so sudo pip 3 install jupyter with a y in the time since i made my last tutorial jupyter has added a step for anyone crazy enough to try to run jupyter using sudo since we're going to do that here you'll have to add the command allow root. So type sudo jupyter notebook hyphen hyphen ip 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 .0 
hyphen hyphen port 8888 hyphen hyphen allow hyphen root. Now you'll want to copy your computer's external IP address from the VM instances tab. Paste that in your URL box. And then paste everything after the 0.0.0.0 in the URL you're given in your command prompt. That should bring you to your home directory where you can upload the CUDNN tarball. Once you've done that, you can close your Jupyter Notebook for now. Now we're just using pip to install a couple different scientific and mathematical Python modules. Now I'm going to follow some steps from a recent post in this blog. Since we're going to be compiling TensorFlow from source, there's a couple other packages we've got to install. Now we'll want to unpack the CUDNN tarball using the tar command. tar hyphen xzvf and then type the name of the tarball that has already been uploaded. Now we're going to want to copy those into the CUDA directory. And then we're going to use nano to edit our bash file. Add these two lines at the end of your bash file to make sure your computer knows where CUDA is. Then use the source command to reload your bash file. Now we're going to add a repository for Bazel. Run sudo apt-get update sudo apt-get install bazel, and then sudo apt-get upgrade bazel. Now clone TensorFlow's git directory, then change your directory to TensorFlow. Use checkout to make sure you're getting TensorFlow 1.0, then type dot forward slash configure. By default, this will be installed for Python 2.7, but we're going to want to install it for Python 3.5. So you'll have to specify Python 3.5 in your binaries folder. Just hit enter for the next two options. Then I chose to build TensorFlow with Google Cloud support, but that's not necessary for this tutorial. Hit enter for the next two options. Then once again, you'll have to specify Python 3.5. You shouldn't need OpenCL support. Say yes to building with CUDA support. Then just hit enter and use the default for the next five options. The compute capability of your GPU is 3.7. Now that you're done with the configuration, build the package with Bazel. This will take a while, so watch more Siraj. Now run this command to put the package in your temp folder, and then use pip3 to install the new wheel file. Remember to hit tab after typing TensorFlow to complete the file name. Now run Python 3, and then import TensorFlow to see if the module works. This is what you should see if everything worked properly. Now when you open a TensorFlow session, you should see your graphics card mentioned. Now clone Siraj's git demo. Now open up another Jupyter Notebook. Navigate to the how to do style transfer in TensorFlow folder. And then open the style transfer notebook file. You should be able to shift click in each of these boxes to run the code inside. Looks like we don't have the pillow module installed, so we'll have to pip that. Open up another SSH window, then type sudo pip3 install pillow. This command will download the VGG16 convolutional neural net model. Now just run all the boxes until you get to the end. And this last box performs the actual style transfer. This is a style transfer from some sort of colorful leaf over to Willy Wonka's portrait. If you want to do your own custom style transfer, you can just grab images off the web. I'm grabbing part of a Mandelbrot fractal and a Kandinsky painting. Upload them to the images folder with the same method we used before. Now I'm going to try to perform a style transfer from this Kandinsky painting to this photograph of tires. Just make sure you change the name in the preceding boxes and then run those boxes again. It's not perfect, but it's interesting. And you can save any images you see the same way you'd save images on a web page. If you play around with the weights, you'll get dramatically different outcomes. And there are already some useful styles available in this package, like Van Gogh's Starry Night and Egyptian Hieroglyphs. Just remember to shut down your VM when you're done, so you're not paying for it, and you're making the best use of your $300.